Again, no, our topic for today, for tonight, is about compound financial instrument pa rin, particularly on the topic na, na um, convertible bonds. Again, no, iuulitin ko, convertible bonds, okay? Ito yung mga bonds that can be converted into shares. Even though it is a bond, once it was issued, pagkita ni mo ito agad, pag nakita mo yan agad, the contract of debt, magsasabi mo, parang bonds lang naman talaga ito. Pero, um, in substance, there is an equity attached to that particular contract of debt. That's why a convertible bond is a compound financial instrument because it composed of a liability and an equity as well. Okay? So, how are we going to account these convertible bonds? Same with the bonds with warrants, the liability and the equity must be accounted separately. No? Accounted separately. Okay? Okay? Ano yung i-account separately? Yung liability and the equity. Okay. So, sir, in a convertible bond, same rin po ba yung treatment natin na yung residual value of the particular compound financial instrument is the equity um, portion? Yes. Parehong pareho pa rin, no? Okay. So, to illustrate that, okay, uh, there's, I, will, uh, I will retype the illustration that I prepared kanina. Assuming that ABC company, okay, no, issued 5 million oh, face amount of bonds, okay, oh, payable for 5 years, okay, 5 years payable, and then it was issued, no, Oh, for an amount of 105 okay okay and then <clears throat> it is assumed that if the bonds were issued were issued without uh, the bonds were issued with conversion privilege okay so ibig sabihin there is a privilege to convert that particular bond into ordinary shares, which each 1,000 bond no, can be converted. No, 1,000 bond can be converted into 20 shares with a par value of 50. Okay. If the bonds were issued, no. If the the bonds, if the bonds were issued without the conversion privilege, the cost, okay, the market value will be ninety-eight. Okay. So, how are we going to separate the liability and the equity instrument on that particular um, financial instrument? Okay? Una, sabi ko nga, let us determine the, the face value of the contract of debt. In this case, the face value of the contract of debt is clearly provided in the problem, problem which is 5 million. And then, no, this is the the face amount. And then, if it was if it is issued for an around one hundred five, okay, that is one point zero five. No, this is the issue price. Oh, so the total consideration received from the issue ones from issue ones of the said. Of the of the said compound financial instrument is five million multiplied by one hundred five. That is five million two fifty. Okay, no. Itong total consideration received from issue ones. Ito po yung 
value ng compound financial instrument. So, una po natin nga hanapin is what if, if it was issued without the equity instrument? Ibig sabihin, the, the bonds is solely a liability only. Walang equity na kasama. Well, meron pong binigay sa problem that if the bonds were issued without the conversion privilege, the market value, or I say the issue price, is at, is at 98 pesos. So, but the bonds without bonds without the conversion privilege no privilege which is at 98 oh i multiply po lang natin yung 5 million na face amount multiplied by 0.98 ibig sabihin the value of the bonds without the conversion privilege ibig sabihin solely it's a liability only is 4,900,000 so, to get the equity instrument, now the value of the equity instrument attached to that particular bond, we just need to determine the residual value, the difference between the total consideration received from issuance and the value of the bonds without the equity instrument, particularly the conversion privilege. In this case, the equity instrument or the residual value is... 350,000. So, ibig sabihin, the equity instrument, no? Okay, is 350,000. Sir, this is a bond. Meron po ba itong discount or premium? Let's see kung may discount or premium. Take note, the face amount of the bonds is 5 million. Okay. And then, the value of the bonds without the conversion privilege conversion privilege privilege is na-compute na po natin yan that is 4,900,000 So, ibig sabihin, if the face amount is 5,000,000 and it can be issued no? For 4,900,000, assuming there is no conversion privilege, we can say that there is a discount on the issuance of the said bond, which is around 5 million minus 4 million, that is 100,000. Can we now prepare the journal entry on the particular transaction, yung issuance of, of the bonds? Yes. Paano po natin gagawa ng entry yan? Very simple lang po, no? Una, we debit cash. Oh, magkano po yung total cash consideration na natanggap natin? We have 5 million 250. And then we will recognize the discount on bonds payable. Magkano po yung discount na na-compute natin? We have 100,000. And then the bonds payable itself which is rec um, re recorded at its face amount. And then the share premium oh, or share premium okay, conversion privilege okay, which is how much that is 350,000 oh, yan lang po yung journal entry parang, pare -pare, parang pareho lang talaga siya uh, on the issuance of the bonds with warrants. Okay. Sir, what if naman, assuming, assuming, no, assuming, no, the bonds were, the, the convertible bonds, okay, okay, bonds were issued without, oh, with a known market value. Okay. Paano po natin ko compute yung value ng equity at liability? Okay? Same sa ginawa natin before, no? Hanapin muna natin yung effective yield and the nominal rate. Okay? Effective yield. I mean, the effective rate and the nominal rate. Oh, let's assume, no? Okay, interest payment, 
interest payment. O, sabihin natin, semi-annual. O, semi-annual. And then, the effective rate. Okay? Rate is at 10%. Okay? And then, the nominal rate is at 8%. Okay? So, how are we going to compute the market value of the particular bonds, of the particular compound financial instrument? Well, we will compute the present value. Okay? Usually, ibibigay naman yan sa problem. In, so far, no? In the actual board exam, sabi nila ngayon, binibigay naman for the purpose na uniformity of answer. Okay? Pero, dito sa sa present case na meron tayo the the present value is not given so we will determine that no okay paano po natin i-determine okay take note the interest payment is semi annual if 5 years po yung bond ibig sabihin ilang periods ang meron na tayo that is 10 periods bakit naging 10 periods kasi dalawang beses po tayong magbabayad ng interest sa bawat taon so, considering that there were five years and each year requires two interest payment, we have ten periods. So, the effective rate and the nominal rate are at annualized rate. Yan. So, we need to use it in a semi-annual rate. For the effective rate, we will use the 5% because that is the kalahate of the 10%. Then, the nominal rate will be the kahalahate of the 8%. Okay. Can we now pre compute the present value of, of ordinary annuity of 1 at 5% for 10 periods? Yes. Okay. We have 1.05. Oh. I-divide natin by itself. Okay. 1.05, that is 1. Take note, we have 10 periods here, no? Okay. So, that's 1.05. Ilalak ko lang para mabilis yung computation. Kung 10 periods yan, no? Okay? 10 periods. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, 10 periods, Okay? So, to, to identify the present value of ordinary annuity, ila, isasam lang po natin yung mga present value factors for each period. So, the present value ordinary annuity, uh, i-add lang po natin itong sampung ito, that would be 7.721735. This is the present value of ordinary and UET of 1, okay, at 5% for 10 periods. Sir, dapat di ba mayroong pang isang present value na dapat hanapin? Yes, yung present value of 1 at 5%. Yung ika-10 period, okay, that is the present value of 1 at 5% for 10 periods. Okay. Can we now compute for the present value of the particular bonds? Okay. Sige, computing po natin. Take note, the face value of the bond is 5 million. Okay. And then, yung gagamitin po nating present value is yung present value of 1 at 5% for 10 periods. Okay. Okay. Itong 613913. Okay. Sige. And then, yung interest. Oh, magkano po interest natin? Semi-annually. We have 5 million. That's the face value multiplied by 0 0.04 kasi semi-annual. Okay. Saan po galing yung 0 0.04? That is the kalahate of the nominal rate. So, that is 200,000. Okay, 200,000. Okay. Uh -huh. 
no? Lagyan natin ng... And then, anong gagamitin natin? Kundi yung present value of ordinary annuity of 1 at 5% for 10 periods. So, i-multiply natin siya sa bawat isa. Okay. 5 million times 0.61. So, lalabas, the present value of the bond, of the convertible bond is... 4,613,913.25 Okay? Posible pong magkakaiba yung sagot natin if we remove um, certain number of decimal places. Okay? So, ngayon, can we now compute for the value of the bonds? I mean, the value of the equity instrument. Yes, pwede na po natin makompute yun. Take note, the issue price of the bonds price of the bonds no is that 5,250,000 okay and then itong 4,613,000 na na-compute natin yun po yung tatawagin natin value of the bonds assuming that there is no Conversion privilege attached. So, bonds without the conversion privilege. Conversion privilege. Privilege. Na magkano? That is 4613913. Okay? And then, from that, we can now compute the equity instrument. The value of the equity instrument which is the conversion privilege. 5,250,000 minus 4,613,913.25. In this case, no, the equity instrument is 6,360,086.75. How about, sir, the discount or the premium? In this case, same pa rin. Let's get the, let's get the face amount of the, of the bond, which is 5 million. Okay. And then, the bonds without the conversion privilege, which is how much? It is 4613913. So, the discount of the particular bond is the, the difference between the face amount and the bonds without the conversion privilege. So, the discount of the particular bonds is 386086.75. Can we now prepare for the journal entry of the particular problem? Yes, we have cash, uh, same pa rin, which is at 5250. No? And then we have discount on bonds payable, which is 386086. 0.75 and then we have bonds um, payable okay at face amount okay which is 5 million that's the face amount and then the share premium related to conversion privilege which is amounting to 6360861 75. Okay? Uh, uh, sa dalawang assumption, na-compute po natin yung conversion privilege at yung discount. Okay? Because the problem dito naman, it's a discount. Sir, what if premium? Same. Kung premium naman, same way or same steps pa rin yung gagamitin. Sir, what if pag dumating na ang panahon, na magko-convert na ng bonds. Okay? Ibig sabihin, um, the, the holder of the contract of debt opted to convert those bonds into equity, into shares. Ibig sabihin, sasabihin niya, oh, issuer ng bonds. I want this to, con I want you to convert this bonds na, or contract of debt of ma, contract of debt that I am holding into um, equity. Oh, ano po gagawin niya? Okay. Una, hanapi, um, identify first what is the the amortized value of the bonds on the date of conversion. Why? Because it is very important 
Kasi, um, take note, the bonds, including its discount and premium, is, is, is changing. Kung discount, kung discount yan, no? Pababa ng pababa yun. Pag premium naman, um, parang, oh, ah, teka lang, uh, pag discount, pababa ng pababa, pag premium naman, pataas ng pataas yung value. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, even the value of the bonds, the amortized value of the bonds, is keep on changing as well. So, dapat, kunin muna natin yung fair market, va I mean, the amortized value of the bonds on the date of conversion. So, let's assume, no, um, using the second assumption, um, assuming that the bonds are unknown, no, there is an unknown market value. So, ibig sabihin, I will use itong assumption na to, ito, itong, ito siya, itong assumption na to, that this is the value of the bonds on the date of issue ones. Then, after 3 years, or oh, after 3 years, after 3 years, no, okay, the bonds were converted into ordinary shares. Okay. So, anong gagawin natin? Una, hanapin muna natin kung magkano yung value ng bonds on the date of conversion. Okay, no? On the date of conversion. Okay. Z um, zero. Sabihin natin, semi-annual, no? One. One. 2020, and then 6, 30, 2020, then 12, 31, 2020, that's the first year, no? Okay? And then the second year, that would be 6, 30, 2021, then 12, 31, 2021, and then 6, 30, 2022, and 12, 31, 2021. 20, Ibig sabihin, on December 31, 2022, I mean, no? 2022, okay? The holder of the, of the particular bond, no? Okay? Or the investor, um, would like to convert those bonds into ordinary share. Sabihin natin, in this date, nagkaroon ng conversion, Okay? conversion na. Okay? Conversion. Okay? So, ano unang, anong gagawin natin? Okay, let's prepare an amortization table in order for us to determine kung magkano yung amortized cost of the bonds on the date of conversion. Okay? For example, okay, um, interest paid, interest paid, interest expense and then we have the amortization and then the amortized cost okay this will be our effective in this will be our amortization table uh, the purpose of this is to identify the value of the bonds on the date of conversion. What particular value the yung tinatawag na um, amortized cost. Okay? Assuming that the uh, on the on the initial issue ones, okay, the bonds without the converse the bonds is at 4,630,000. Yung gagamitin po natin ha, is the value of the bonds on the date um, on the date of issue once is yung bonds without the conversion privilege. Okay? Sige. After that, oh, hanapin po. On December, on June 30, magkano kaya yung binayaran natin na interest? We have 5 million. That's the face value. 5 million. Multiply by the nominal rate of 4%. Bakit 4%, sir? Di ba in fact 8%? Kasi kalahati lang naman. Nominal rate. So, we have 200,000. Okay. And then, magkano yung interest expense? We are going to use the yield rate. Multiply 
multiply po natin by 0.05. Okay? Magkano amortization natin dyan? 230 minus 200, that is 30. Idadagdag po natin yan sa, okay? Ayan. That's the amortized cost on June 30. Okay? So, same way, you know? Same pa rin yung gagawin. Okay? Kasi lahat 200, ito dito, o drag ko lang ha. Walang amount. Okay? And then, ayun. So, magkano yung amortized cost on December 31, 2022? The amortized cost on that day is 4,822,702 okay, 0.47. Okay? So, ngayon, there is a conversion na happened. Okay? Take note, uh, kinonvert na, no? Kinonvert. Meron po tayong 5 million. Okay? Let us assume that each bond costs for 1,000. Okay? Each bond costs, ano? Is 1,000. So, ilang bond ang meron tayo? That is, 5 divided by 1,000, we have 5,000 bonds. Okay? At lahat yun kinonvert. Okay? And according to the problem, each bond can be converted into 20 shares. Okay? Okay? Bonds to, and then, conversion into 20 shares. So, ilang shares ang na ang na-issue on the conversion, we have 100,000 ordinary shares issued, no? Issued. Ngayon, ano po gagawin natin? Okay, ito ha? Ito po gagawin natin. Una, tingnan po natin kung magkano na lang yung value of the discount. Kasi discount naman to no? Magkano na lang yung value of the discount? Okay. Ito. Take note, on the date of issue once, the discount is 386. Okay? 386. 086.75. Okay? And then, on the, on the date of conversion, ilan na ba ang na- ang na conversion no conversion okay tama ba spelling okay o basta convert no on the date of conversion okay conversion ilan na ba ang naamortize natin that is the total nito okay so yon okay so ibig sabihin Ilan na lang ang natitirang discount? That is 177. This is the remaining balance of the discount. Okay? On the date of conversion. Remaining balance. Okay? Of the discount. No? Of this discount on bonds payable. Okay? Importante po ito kasi mamaya um tatanggalin din po natin yung discount. Kasi mahirap naman kinonvert natin yung bonds and then yung bunga niya is still there. We can, dapat pagtanggalin natin yung puno kasama yung mga bunga niya. No? Okay. So that's why kasi i-convert, i-recognize natin yung bonds payable, any attached accounts on that bonds payable shall be um, de-recognized as well. Okay? Sige. Ito yung remaining balance. So, ano po yung mga entries na gagawan ko on that particular date of conversion? Okay. Ito po gagawin natin, ha? Una, okay, gawan mo muna ng entry yung conversion. Conversion natin. Or pwede naman hati-hatiin na lang natin para mas madali yung maintindihan, no? Okay. On December 31, 2022, okay. Oh. Una mong gagawin is this. I-record mo yung interest paid. Okay? Magkano po ba yung binayaran natin? Interest expense 
that is 200,000. Ito po yung 200,000. Yung interest payment muna natin. Then, may credit cash kasi nagbayad ka for 200,000. That's the first entry. Yung payment of the interest on that date of conversion. Ano yung pangalawang entry na gagawan? Okay. 2022. On 20, December 31, 2022. Okay. Gawan mo ng entry yung amortization of the discount. Your amortization would be debit, interest expense, which is yung 39,176. Okay. Then, credit discount on bonds payable which is 39,176. Okay ha? Wala pa ako sa conversion ha? Okay. After magawa ng entry yung pagbayad ng interest, then yung paggawa, ay yung pag-amortize ng discount, pwede na po tayong pumunta on the conversion. Okay. Ngayon, mo, paano po natin ko gagawa niya ng entry? Assuming all bonds payable were converted. So, we will recognize the face value of the bonds. The face value of the bonds is 5 million. Kasama din po natin i-recognize yung share premium conversion privilege. Okay? Kasi lahat, di ba? Conversion privilege. Okay? Which is, magkano yung conversion privilege natin na na-compute in this particular case? Okay, tingnan natin sa taas. The conversion privilege na na-compute natin was 636,086.75. Okay? Sige. Yun po yung convert. Kasi lahat naman, i-convert. Okay? So, 636,086. And then, ano po yung gagawin naman? Okay? We will credit ordinary shares. Ordinary shares. Considering na 100,000 shares, 100,000 ordinary shares is being issued, then yung par nun is 50, magkano yung value at par? That is 100,000 multiply at 50, so that's the value, 5 million then. Sir, In excess of the par, okay, in excess of par, no, that would be your share premium. So, in excess of par, total debit, okay, minus the total credit, so the share premium, anong share premium na po ito? Issue ones, okay, 636086.75. So, this is your entry on the... Ah, hindi pa no? Hindi pa parang may mali pa. Take note, meron po tayong remaining balance na discount. Do we need to include that on the entry? Yes. So, itong share premium on the issue ones, hindi pa po yun yung tama. Okay? Buti na lang nakita natin, no? Okay? So, we need to also to recognize the discount on bonds payable. Take note, the remaining balance of the discount is 177,297. So, ibig sabihin, the share premium and issue ones is 5 million plus 6,636. Because this is just a balancing figure, minus 5 million, minus 177. The share premium and the issue ones is 458,789.22. Okay? So, that's it, no? Okay. On the date of conversion, dapat i-recognize muna yung interest expense na binayaran, i-recognize yung amortization, then after that, i-recognize the face value of the bonds, including the share premium conversion privilege, and then i-recognize as well the premium or the discount remaining balance, And recognize ordinary share at par. Then any excess 
Okay? Or the balancing figure, yun po yung tatawagin nating share premium on issue 1. In the actual board exam, pag itanong, no? If a convertible bond is, is, is converted into shares, ano po ba yung in, um, kasama sa total consideration received? The total consideration received will be the amortized cost of the bonds on the date of issue 1. So, okay, the amortized cost of the bonds on the date of issue 1. Okay, take note, the amortized cost of the bonds on the date in, of issue 1 is 5 million less 177297.53 which is ito yun 4822702.702.47 oh equal sila di ba ito yan yung amortized cost of the bonds on the date of issue once le plus okay plus the conversion privilege okay Kung gusto mo mahanap yung total consideration received from the issue once of, from the conversion of the bonds. Kasi minsan itong tinatanong to. Okay, what is the, magkano yung conversion privilege, share premium? Yun. This is the total consideration, okay, consideration received on conversion. Which is magkano? That is 4822 plus 636. Okay. That's the total one consideration received. Okay. From the total consideration received, we can determine the share premium on issue ones. Okay. Take note the ordinary shares. Okay. We're at par. Magkano yung